Hello, my name is Karen Winters, and I'm the director of the Genesee County Business Education Alliance, and I am also the co-chair of this year's inaugural Glow With Your Hands healthcare event. The purpose of this brief webinar is just to give our GCC staff and uh, healthcare programs um, some insight into what this event uh, looks like and how your respective programs can get involved. Uh, I'm just going to uh, show you some slides uh, to just keep our uh, webinar kind of organized. And as always, you're more than welcome to contact me um, with any further questions or concerns that you might have about how you can get involved in this event. So without further ado, I'm just going to share my screen here. So uh, this is uh, Glow With Your Hands Healthcare. Uh, this event is a, uh, a sister event from the success of the Glow With Your Hands um, career day that we hosted at, have hosted at Genesee County Fairgrounds uh, since 2019, promoting uh, careers in advanced manufacturing, agriculture, uh, food production, skilled trades, and uh, it is a, a, an event targeting uh, students in grades 8 through 12 in the Genesee, Livingston, Orleans, and Wyoming counties. Uh, just like the successful event that we have had, we have heard from our partners in healthcare who have said we're desperate and, and in need to do some outreach with some local students um, and, and teach them about the many different career pathways and opportunities in healthcare. So Glow With Your Hands Healthcare is now uh, being organized as a, another annual event and uh, hands-on career exploration opportunity. Uh, the date of this event is going to be Friday, March 24th, and it will be hosted at the GCC Batavia campus. Already so far, we have uh, we have commitments from all 28 uh, public school districts, and uh, each school district is expecting to bring between 25 and 40 students, again, in the grades of 8 through 12. Uh, we are expecting over 700 students to participate, and because GCC has been so great and generous in donating their facility so we can host this event, we want to make sure that GCC and your staff uh, have the first uh, opportunity and get uh, first priority to, to find their placement in, in the many different opportunities and, and outreach opportunities that we have at this event. Uh, I just have a quick recap video. So um, just to give you a little history on this event, uh, Genesee County and my partner, uh, Wyoming County uh, Business Education Council, we hosted a healthcare career day uh, in January 2020, right before the pandemic hit. And uh, over 250 students came to this event. We had some uh, workshop presentations, hands-on demonstrations, a college uh, and career fair that took place. So uh, this event that we're hosting in March is very much of the same um, similar format to this Healthcare Career Day. This video will just give you a feel for what uh, you can expect the, the, uh, for our March event here. So as you can see in that video, um, we had uh, workshop presentations in GCC classrooms where we brought in uh, healthcare professionals, medical professionals uh, to speak to their specific career in industry. Uh, we had a college career fair down in the forum area. Uh, we um, So a little information about the day of event logistics. 
um, start time, end time of this day. So um, if you need to plan accordingly, it gives you a little bit of a snapshot as to what this day is going to look like. So our school districts are going to arrive at GCC between 9 and 9.30, um, and we will be kicking off a four block rotation starting at 9.45. Uh, each of these blocks are about 45 minutes in length and the students will have a, a lot of opportunities to participate in, in different workshop presentations, nursing demonstrations, the college career fair, and of course lunch first responder demonstrations. Uh, around 1.30, that is when all of our school districts will be um, uh, departing and heading back to campus so our, and stop time would be around 1.30. A little bit more information on uh, the different uh, blocks that the school groups will be uh, rotating through. Uh, in the forum area, we will have about 40 to 50 uh, vendors, exhibitors uh, taking place in our college and career fair. Uh, we will be inviting some schools, uh, some colleges, universities that have healthcare programs, uh, mainly have affiliations with GCC. Uh, there will be um, other healthcare providers, organizations uh, setting up tables and information as well. The one thing I would stress to anybody who's interested in setting up one of these tables is please make sure that you pro provide some sort of hands-on demonstration. Uh, we really want the kids to engage with these careers. And if you strive to make your, your table the, the hot attraction for kids to kind of come and see and really get a feel for uh, what your program is like and the type of hands-on activities they'll take part in as part of your program. That is really what our goal is. Uh, all of the students will uh, go through a nursing presentation and demonstration. Uh, we recognize how important nurses are, and we realize that a lot of kids aren't educated as to the many different um, opportunities in nursing there are. Uh, so we will talk to the students about the difference between a CNA, an LPN, uh, an RN, a nurse practitioner, and then uh, students will come out of Steiner Theater where this presentation is taking place and uh, head to the uh, lobby area of Steiner Theater uh, where we'll have some tables, some hands-on demonstrations. Um, so different hands-on things that nurses do on a daily basis, such as taking a patient's vitals, um, you know, learning how to um, you know, change patient's clothing or change the bedding, um, many different opportunities such as that. Uh, the other two demonstrations that we have, of course, we do need to make sure that we are um, feeding the students. So uh, lunch as well as first responders, first aids demonstrations are all combined under one block. So half of the time the students will be going and getting lunch in the cafeteria. The other half of the time they will be uh, going to the GCC gymnasium where we will um, have local fire departments and EMT staff um, that will be uh, teaching the students some um, informal CPR, AED training, stop the bleed, um, you know, high molecular maneuver for both uh, adults and, and infants. Um, so many different types of first aid uh, activities that um, they are trained in. They're going to show the students um, how they can do that themselves. And then last but not least, we have our workshop presentation. So each of these students um, will be given their own individual um, schedule for that particular block in which um, students will attend a workshop um, with a local career uh, professional to learn more about a, a career field that they have self-reported interests them the most. So students prior to this event, they have to take a Google uh, registration um, and rank on a scale from one to 10 their interest in learning more about um, certain careers. So these are the different workshop topics that we are giving to the students um, to explore and just kind of evaluate their interest in learning more. Uh, the report that they generate helps um, event organizers um, select one of these uh, workshop presentations for those uh, students who attend the day of the event. So they will not go to all of them. They will just go to one of them. 
Uh, we have told them that, of course, uh, we can't guarantee any particular uh, attendance in a workshop, but we will try our best to make sure that it, it, it is a topic of interest for these students. Um, as you can see from this list, there are uh, several programs on here where I know that we have some uh, GCC courses, GCC programs uh, that would um, have a great opportunity to talk to those students who are really contemplating a, a career in these fields. So, um, you know, we certainly want uh, GCC PT PTA to have a presence and maybe talk about the difference between what it means to be a PTA versus a physical therapist. Uh, what does a respiratory therapist do? The vet science and uh, vet tech program uh, with Dr. Kakamis. Um, you, you could also have uh, your mental health division and counseling program featured as part of um, this day. So we really just want uh, GCC to be aware of this opportunity. And if you see a fit, we, we want to give you the opportunity to say uh, if you're willing to participate before we uh, approach anybody else. Okay. And let me just walk you through next steps. So um, we are working um, to try to get all of the vendors, exhibitors, um, to complete uh, a Google form registration as soon as possible. Uh, the link that you see on your screen is the link to the Google uh, the Google form. Um, what I will also do, uh, Ann Valento in uh, GCCA's program, she is our contact and liaison um, on the uh, events committee. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always reach out to Ann. I've also put my contact information on the screen as well. Uh, we really encourage all of you to please um, consider being part of this event. With this being our first year doing something big uh, to this capacity, we recognize that there might not be the awareness that this is taking place at your campus, but we certainly would like to um, partner with you in some capacity, whether it's um, just showcasing what your program does, uh, helping those students line up with how they can get involved in your program. Um, really, the sky is the limit. So. Um, I hope you have learned a little bit more about this event and how you can get involved. Again, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to myself or to Ann Valento. Thank you so much.